Have you ever known that it was undoubtable that this is the worst film ever made? I mean, undoubtedly the best film ever made is Revenge of Sith. And undoubtedly the worst film ever made is Cuties. This film is disgusting. I'm going to say that 300 times in this video. And I've only watched like 30 minutes of it. And I'm not going to watch anymore. I'd rather peel all the skin off of my leg. Egg and dip it into three-year-old Pepsi and drink it then. Watch any more of this disgusting film. And... But... It pains me to say this. Because saying anything good about this film. It just makes me feel... A little disgusting. But this film story could be better. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. I mean, it could be good. Sorry, I'm sorry. I deserve to be punished. You know what? For that, I'm doing this. Every time I say something that I disapprove of, I take away a bit of my mask. This is gonna be fun. Anyway, so this film's story... Ugh. The story with the mother could be good. I mean, not, not good, but it could be watchable, unlike 99% of this film. Not even 99, 100% of this film's unwatchable. But I'm not going to get into. Uh, I'm not going to get into the things that this film does, as it's just disgusting. Uh, like, there's a scene where her, she tries to seduce, the main character tries to seduce her cousin so that she can get his phone. That's just disgusting, and whoever thought that should be ashamed of herself. It's just, even thinking about, like, 99% of the th stuff that's in this film just makes me sick to the stomach. I mean, I mean and I'm not exactly the most pukus of per. Of people, I look at at saw like it's some, um, like it's a uh, one of those those boom boxes that play relaxing music. But when it comes to a film like Cuties, the way it portray the way these kids are acting and moving in this, it's it's just disgusting. This film um is disgusting. These kids are eleven years old. They are children. They should not be doing this. And whoever, and the parents of these kids who clear, who looked at the script, or 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 uh, saw uh, what these kids are doing, the people. If you are making these kids, it's, if you're letting your kids do this, then that's, then you should probably be. You should probably have your kids taken away from you. I'm sorry if I'm sounding like I'm being a bit too serious, but. If you're thinking that, you probably haven't seen this film before. I know I've only watched 30 minutes of it, but this film is disgusting. The director of this should probably be put behind bars along with the cameraman. Like, the director's just saying, Oh, you could just sit in the stairs and, like, open your legs up a bit and let the cameraman just film your private parts. I mean, this this film's just off. This film's disgusting. It's awful. Well, at least with actually awful films like Jaws Two or The Last Jedi, at least those films weren't are generally illegal to exist. A film like this is basically taking a film from the dark web and then just putting it onto Netflix. I really feel like someone really needs to do something about this. Because this film is still on Netflix. When... And people will just... They... I mean, I know Critical made a video about this. But uh, the most he done was... Uh, he said it was bad and then forgot it existed. When it comes to a film like this... I know oh, there's, there's YouTubers... There's like there's YouTubers that review movies like the Nostalgia Critic. There's people that they review films. They talk about how bad it is. Even some even some people talking about out this stuff, and they they talk about how bad it is, and then and they acknowledge that it shouldn't even be on this website. But it is still on Netflix, and you can even buy it on YouTube. YouTube is 
is the most strict thing ever when it comes to, oh, you know, oh, it's the most strict thing ever when it comes to, you know, discussing CP. But when YouTube, but when it comes to something like this, YouTube really doesn't do anything about it. It, I mean, that YouTube is like the one of the most strict. It, uh, companies on planet Earth, even when it comes, like, probably, well, nowhere, but, like, next to Twitch, but this, just, I really feel like something needs to be done about this film, um, how about we can make it hashtag remove cuties from Netflix, if you see this video, may, maybe, like, get it to bigger YouTubers, or is it, try to make people realize this. We that because this film um, is it's generally illegal to exist. It's literally soft pool child porn. And I know oh there's gonna be people watching this. They're gonna be like, oh, why are you so serious about this? I mean like, like, like it's just a film. This isn't just a film. Um, cause if you're one of the people that defend this film, um, and try to say that it's some sort of, of I mean, those people that say, hey, well, compared to the other films that came out in 2020, it isn't that bad. The other films that came out in 2020, it weren't illegal to exist. So, if anyone's watching this, I begging you, you you're a, you have my mercy. We need someone needs to get this fi this f thing off of Netflix. If you're watching this, please, I'm begging you. We need to get this thing off of Netflix. The you generally have these people that are you know. Oh, you have these people oh, that, uh, these predators that come in and they, you know, they do weird things, things when it comes to this film. And people are, and then you have people that even praise it. And that's just not right. You don't need to make the film, like, banned. And, but this film can't be on Netflix available well, to millions, even billions of people. So let's try get a hashtag out there. Hashtag get cuties off of YouTube. I promise I'll get back to reviewing good films the two people that stick around and watch my videos. So see you on the next video of the of my cringe review.